everyone. Welcome to the Renegade Report. My name is Ramon. If you haven't listened to our latest episode uh, of the podcast, link below. We tackle the State of the Nation address, the oil discovery of the coast of the Cape, uh, American politics. Uh, yeah, quite a few things. So link below if you want to listen to that. Topic of today's video is uh, labor unions. And I think it's criminally underreported how destructive these organizations are. Um, so there are two types of labor unions, broadly speaking. So there's the one type that um, has members basically in the private sector, uh, in the unregulated private sector, so not big industries and things like that. And a good example of this is solidarity, right? So solidarity, I know some of the people in solidarity, they have economists, they have lawyers, they understand economics, they understand that, you know, price increases or wage increases can't really happen due to economic uh, effects and, or lack of economic growth or market forces and things like that. And it's very rare if, I don't think it's even happened, where a solidarity strike has gone violent. Um, I'm not aware of any. It could be. If you do know, just you know, let me know in the comments below. But I don't think any strike has gone violent, uh, a solidarity strike. Then you have <clears throat> unions on the other side, uh, which are Kosatu, Numsa, Amku, and um, the new ones, Fedusa, I think. So these are traditional unions based on basically socialist principles. So they are based in sectors that are highly regulated, like mining, or they represent public servants. So civil servants, of which we have like 4 million in this country, which is a huge number. So the irony is, so you have the Tripartite Alliance, which is the ANC, the Communist, uh, Communist Party, and the unions. And the Communist Party, uh, sorry, and the unions represent the employees of the state, uh, which is an, a state run by the ANC. So, and those employees are funded by taxes. And the commies just love taxes, of course. So the unions represent employees that are funded by taxes from, from citizens, paid for by the state, and the taxes are given to these uh, civil servants as, as wages. And when there's not enough money or the state is bankrupt, like right now, uh, you know, wages won't rise and things like that. So the unions fight the ANC government to make sure that civil servants who are tax parasites get paid a higher wage from taxes from the private sector, from people like you and me. So it's it's a type of circle of like crony, crony, what, it's not even capitalism at the end of the day, it's theft, like crony theft, where taxes are taken from you and me to pay civil servants who don't do their jobs very well. Those civil servants are represented by a union who are in a partnership with the governing party. And if the governing party is unable to raise money to pay the workers or to increase their wages, the union fights with the governing party um, to increase those wages. And the fights take place on the streets where they burn people who don't strike and they burn property that does not belong to them and they harass and intimidate uh, uh, people in a general sense. Um, now, the unions are a problem because First of all, they're politically connected, which is always a problem. Second of all, they're responsible for probably, you know, they are the main reason why we have so such high unemployment in this country, other than the economy and, econ and you know, economic growth. But they have um, made sure that the Labor Relations Act has been completely one-sided. Employees have a lot more rights than employers. Employers wouldn't want to hire more people because it's very difficult to fire people, even if they are incompetent. <clears throat> so people are not hiring to do strict laws and regulations around labor that were uh, implemented and imposed by the unions and the ANC put them you know, into law. So the, the unions are, are a massive, massive destructive force in this country. And they can be beaten. They really can. Uh, Thatcher is famous for, for beating the unions. Uh, she made sure that some of the rights that they had accrued were, were done away with. They, she made sure that there were more strict reasons to strike or not strike. Things like that. But it will never change in this country because of the tripartite alliance. Because the ANC knows they need Kosatu's members and they need Numsa's members and, and things like that. Uh, to get votes. It's a part of the larger coalition of the ANC. 
to ensure that the union supports the ANC and allows the ANC to um, to get the support to get the votes of the members. However, the union members are dwindling a lot. And the more they dwindle, the more violent unions will become. And that is exemplified by the plastics uh, industry strike last year, where you know three protesters, three strikers were killed, a CEO was killed as well, three other CEOs were assaulted, 100 million rand worth of damage to factories, cars, offices was committed. Non-striking members, uh, homes were burnt, they were insulted and intimidated. Um, and even, even after the wage demands were met, the strike still continued and destruction still commenced. Unions are a very destructive force. I'm not against them in a general sense, but if they're politi- politically connected or, or if they represent civil servants, they're basically illegitimate in my eyes and they need to be taken out and they need to have their powers dampened a lot. But it'll never happen in South Africa because the ANC needs them. So, yeah, we're stuck with that. So don't be surprised if unions become a lot more violent and don't be surprised if economic growth doesn't happen at all because the unions are preventing the ANC from doing anything to to stir up economic growth um, solely for their members and their members are less than a million. One million people holding South Africa hostage for their own benefit. Think about that. So yeah, subscribe, ring the bell, give me your credit card number and pin or whatever else needs to be done so that you, I am sure that you get the next video. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Have fun. Speak soon.